It's up, up and away and a momentous occasion for those on board Team Cork Airport as they celebrate the completion of the on-schedule and within-budget project. Just everyone working together for a common goal. There's a lot to be said. If we could bottle whatever we achieved in this project, we could use it in other projects and it'd be great for Ireland. The closure of Cork Airport for 10 weeks was seen by some as a very daring decision. Today, however, those involved in the programme were savouring a real taste of sweet success. We all worked together, there was no fighting. And if you came along here, Paul, as you know, at 11 at night, you saw the lights in the room where the guys were working around the clock seven days a week. Um, focus and a little bit of luck, uh, but it was team effort. Directly and indirectly, Cork Airport is a source of employment to 12,000 people. We've already successfully signed up eight airlines to operate over 30 routes uh, for the winter and summer seasons ahead uh, and more in the offering in terms of ongoing negotiations. So we're preparing to build back better uh, and to come back with a very strong Christmas. Maynooth-based Colas, which landed the contract to construct the new runway, had 430 people working on the build. The opening of an airport means business can get back to getting out there and winning business for Cork. And we can see leisure tourism returning to Cork as well. So yes, it makes a, it's an incredible day for Cork and for the economy locally. The €10 million Euro taxpayer-funded runway comes on the same year as Cork Airport celebrates its 60th anniversary. This will be up there with the best. Um, as I say, this uh, lighting system, it creates a carpet. So the visual acuity of the, of the, and the texture of the room is excellent for, to give you that perspective as you're coming into land. This Monday, the first flight to take off from the new runway departs at 7.45 a.m. The airport has undergone many changes over the past six decades. Project Runway among one of the biggest to date. It now ensures the landmark location, once known as the small airport with a big heart, will continue to keep people and businesses connected for years and years to come. Paul Byrne, Virgin Media News, Cork Airport.